The University of New Haven Chargers football team looked to stay unbeaten in the Northeast 10 Conference as they traveled to the soggy conditions at Marton Mahal Field to battle the Merrimack Warriors. Just under two minutes into the game, senior running back Mike Dakar got Off the Chargers the on the board with this 24-yard run. Left. New Haven Chargers.com's Pat Ryan on the call. Carl Ring left. He's got room. He's inside the 20. Inside the 15. Makes a move with the 10. Into the 5. Touchdown, Mike Zaccaro. Very quickly, the Chargers have jumped on top. Well, what made that a touchdown was an excellent block by the wide receiver, Roshan Wilson, who sealed off linebacker Jimmy Holland at about the 10 yard line. The Warriors tied the game at 7, but it was Dakar again who put UNH out in front on this 7 yard scamper. Finds his way through a hole and gets into the end zone for a touchdown. Mike the Carl somehow found his way. With the score not at a 14 early in the second quarter, quarterback Ronnie Nelson connected on this 36 yard touchdown pass to Ty Hedden. Wide open, Ty Hedden at the 10, at the 5, touchdown, Ty Hedden. Well, there was a mistake in coverage there by Merrimack. The safety, James. Merrimack narrowed the Chargers' lead with a field goal, but Nelson put the Chargers back ahead by 10 when he found DeCaro on this 42 yard connection. 30, 25, 20, to race down a sideline. DeCaro slides, cuts back into the middle. And Zaccaro was going to score on a great play by Ronnie Nelson and Mike Zaccaro. Well, fans, you are missing one of the most outstanding plays I've ever seen in the history of Charger football. The Warriors pulled within a touchdown early in the third quarter, but again, Ronnie Nelson would extend the UNH lead to 34-20 to on his only rushing touchdown of the day. Taking himself across the five, he barrels into the end zone for a touchdown. Ronnie Nelson with a good fake and took it in himself. Well, Zach Maori. Had a shot at him back in around the seven-yard line. Nick Music would then give the Chargers a 41-20 lead on this touchdown. Music who goes around their left side and into the end zone. Music from a slot position came across for an inside handoff. The deception there, Pat, with Dakar. With 4:03 remaining in the third quarter, Michael Flacco reeled in a 36-yard touchdown pass from Nelson, which proved to be the deciding points. And it is caught for a touchdown. Mike Flacco backing into the end zone, making a terrific catch. Well, it was just a matter if the ball was going to get there or not. He, Flacco kept backing. Merrimack would score three more times, making the score 48-41 in favor of the Chargers. But it was the UNH defense that would deny the Warriors on the goal line as Jacob Weaver stuffed the Warriors quarterback back Joe Clancy that the David zone. Nooks Ferguson. dropped Shane Ferguson at the, at the one, one before Clancy threw an incompletion on fourth and goal. Play by David Nook. So no gain on the play. Fourth and goal from the one. Dunn is the wide receiver to the left. Clancy back to pass. Looking deep in the far corner. It's incomplete. The Chargers have held. Nelson was 16 for 25 for 281 yards and three touchdowns, and he ran for 54 yards and one touchdown. The car rushed 10 attempts for 57 yards and two touchdowns. He also had 72 yards receiving with one touchdown. Nick Music made five catches for 102 yards and contributed one rushing touchdown. Overall, the Chargers had 407 total yards of offense, 281 through the air, and 126 on the ground. The Chargers are back in action Saturday, October 19th as the Stonehill Skyhawks come to town for a 1 p.m. contest. The game will be broadcast and televised on CPTV Sports and at NewHavenChargers.com.